what's up everyone I'm gonna do a little quick review about some socks that I have gotten recently and tried out a few times I'm really impressed by the quality most importantly the customer service and because of those couple of things and also the style really uh, because of those few things I wanted to do a quick review in case someone else out there was interested uh, I know it's a pair of socks so probably not that much excitement involved but I'm gonna talk about them a little bit uh, the company name of the socks is Darn Tough. I believe this is correct. It's a sticker that I got. Um, and basically what you'll see here is I have four pairs of socks. Two pair uh, that I have here are identical. So these are actually the same uh, socks in just a different color. Uh, and then I'm going to have a third set and a fourth. So I'm going to just kind of go down the line and talk about them. Um, I guess I should say uh, the reasoning that I stumbled across these socks mostly was looking up some hiking and some outdoor activities. Uh, when watching um, some reviews or some different things on YouTube, etc., some different folks were talking about socks, and that's how I kind of stumbled across them. I myself have been doing some hiking, some walking. I'm also at a job where I'm um, a delivery person, so I'm on my feet a lot. I am in the heat, I'm in the cool when it's raining, when it's snowing, so I'm out in the elements with my feet a lot in my shoes. And uh, I never thought much about my socks, but after reading some of these reviews and doing some research, I thought uh, since I would be out in some different types of shoes and terrain, why not give some socks a try so that's to the point where I'm at so the first pair that I got I'll go ahead um, I'm gonna show the packaging uh, basically and as far as sizing I'll go ahead and put that there if you guys can see so these are in the medium for me I wear a size 9 hopefully that's focusing uh, the style I'll let you guys see hopefully this is focusing um, now all the socks, uh, the main ingredient, I guess, or the main thing is called merino wool. And supposedly, now I don't know all the details, you guys can uh, maybe do some research on merino wool and some of the different things about these socks that I can't get into, I don't really know much about, but um, merino wool is supposedly very good at wicking away moisture. Um, it's supposedly really good at uh, keeping like uh, uh, smells away etc but the the difference in the socks this particular sock that I'll talk about is is um, is the micro crew cushion and I believe this is the if I could find it here uh, anyway I'm going to just talk about the sock, I guess. Like, uh, this style is 1466, and I think it's like the hiker uh, boot cut um, with a little additional padding on it. Um, surprisingly, the micro crew cushion, I guess, is. So, anyway, that is this particular sock here. I can get it on here. And what's interesting about these socks is I went ahead and turned one out is when you look at the insides of them first of all it'll say the size if you're ever curious about the size it says it on the inside so there's your medium just so you know and <clears throat> if you get down you'll see there start to be some extra padding down here it's a little thinner and then we get beefed up so the materials change and there's some extra cushioning, extra padding in the toe and in the heel, bottom of the foot. And there's like a band. I don't I can't I don't know if this is significantly stronger, but it's like this little band there. So these are the thickest of the socks compared to I'll talk about next um, and what, real quick I wanted to jump on this depending on the style of sock and this is what you may have to do some research on 
I'm going to show these two as an example. The thickest sock that I have, the kind of the hiker um, boot cut sock with a little with the cushioning. A little more cushioning has 61% merino wool, 38% nylon, and 3% lycra. Now, the next sock that I'm going to show that's more of just a casual sock, it is only it is 47% uh, merino wool, 50% nylon, and 3% lycra. So they both share 3% lycra. However, 61% merino on the heavier sock, 40% on the lightweight, 50% nylon and 38 percent so higher in nylon on the thin one higher in merino wool on the thick one um, and this sock is uh, let's see this is the a crew light cushion sock as well so it's, it's similar in size as the previous sock but you'll see it's thinner due to the materials being slightly different <clears throat> and this is the earth color so this is like something I would wear into work. Um, it's very casual, very, very thin. It still has some padding there, a very light cushioning of padding there. I'll show the inside. So you can see where it turns over to the padding. So there is padding there, but although padding very lightweight, a very lightweight um, sock. And so this is something that you would just kind of wear a casual, maybe I would say a casual sock. But I've worn all of these socks. They are awesome. It's crazy when you think about a sock when you just wear your normal low cotton socks every day. And I'm in my 40s. And then you put something like this on and you're out in the heat or something and you realize your feet aren't getting really hot or when you rub your toes you don't feel like that cotton kind of sandpapery feel in your socks. I mean these feel like you really don't have anything on, at least in my experience. I don't naturally have sweaty feet or stinky feet so I can't speak for everyone. But after trying uh, this pair out and liking them so much uh, when I went hiking, uh, and walking and it was cooler out the weather was cooler when I bought these I like these so much that it, you know I started to get some other pairs so the next pair I want to talk about is my favorite of the bunch uh, they're in two colorways so basically this is the orange and this is a little heavier than the one I just showed but not much in my opinion you could wear this one as an everyday sock as well it does have a little more cushioning so if you've got a super tight shoe on but um, love these right here and I'll go ahead and talk about it it's this is the uh, micro crew light cushion so if you guys notice I've kind of went with the micro crew on everything but the show uh, let's go ahead and if we can get all three of these in as we said before the most merino wool is going to be on the heavy duty high uh, the heavier duty the one um, at least I believe yeah and then uh, let's see so the uh, ones I'm showing now have 45 percent nylon which is less than the thin one but more than the uh, first one 48 percent merino wool which is just about the same as the other one and 7% lycra so this particular has more lycra I guess about the same amount of merino wool as the everyday casual sock that I would call it um, so this is kind of right in the middle of everything and uh, every between or so this is my favorite let's go ahead and look the inside of this one so you can see there's some the padding is there I'll show a comparison. So something like this, you'll see the padding. The padding, which is a little lighter. And so there's padding in all the socks. And if you go to the website, they go into detail 
on all the different types of socks they have, all the different types of fits. So you can really kind of pinpoint what it is you're looking for. Um, but regardless, I believe you'll be pretty satisfied um, with what you get. Now I'll say this. I'll talk about customer service real quick. I'll let you take one look at this gray one here. or the This one is just this different colorway. But they're seamless, so you don't feel any, you don't feel anything uh, on your toes. You're not stepping on anything. There's no little funny things to, to step on. Um, and I'll show you what they look like on my feet uh, when it's all said and done. But that's how they all look. That's some of the differences. So you can kind of get, do you want more padding on the bottom of the foot? Do you need a longer sock with more padding up around the calf and the heel? So they kind of cater to just about everybody. Um, and so that's what I want to talk about next. I uh, had gotten a pair of these socks and I, I looked down in the evening and noticed that there was a little thread coming out and it looks like some few things were coming apart. So I wrote them a nice email and asked, you know, I sent them a couple pictures. Is this something I should worry about, etc. They said I could just go ahead and send them in. They gave me the address. So I sent them in. I also at had this pair in a lot these were a longer not the crew cut uh the micro crew which i've basically fallen in love with they were just a standard crew and so i sent those along in a box and asked if i could just exchange them because uh don't well, i guess i should say these guys have a lifetime warranty on their socks so if you buy a pair of socks um no matter how long you've had them you can send them in and they'll replace them which i think is fantastic and is almost unheard of these days but I did send them a nice letter. I sent the, the, the uh, socks in. They were prompt about it, quick to get back to me to say that the package had arrived, that everything had been uh, approved. So I was able to get this pair of socks back with, with uh, I don't know if I would have called it a defect, but I got another pair. And they were also able to exchange these out to a crew. And there was nothing wrong with the original pair that I bought. I just wanted to exchange them to the shorter micro crew. So they were able to accommodate me in every way. Um, so I think I have to give them, you know, A plus 100% grade A on customer service. Uh, the quality of the socks is excellent. Now I've been able to wear each of these. I've worn these actually like three days in a row and they didn't stink at all. Um, and a few other pair I've tried out and just worn a few different times. I've had no discomfort, no problems at all. And they also look really, really, really cool. I think the design, so when you can add design, customer service, style, and quality product, um, you really can't go wrong. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about the, comp the company and talk about the socks. So. They're really awesome, so if you get on the website or do some reviews, you can find out more about the different materials, how they may suit you, the padding, etc. And um, it's really a great company, a lifetime warranty. Um, you know, the socks, if there's one thing, they're probably around 20 to 25, 30 bucks tops, somewhere in there, um, probably around the $22 range for a pair. But with the lifetime guarantee, the ability to wear them multiple times in a row, um, and they should last a long time so really the value is there if you think about all the things that you're getting so anyway let's just uh, talk talking about socks y'all so it'd be awesome if darn tough I you know I'd like to have some of the low crew cut ones to try out so I'm kind of broke right now but um, in the future I definitely would try some of those out as well but uh, if I had to re recommend one I definitely would probably go with these and let me see if I can figure out the name of those. It's the Micro Crew Light Cushion. But they're all awesome. And uh, anyway, so I'll show a couple pictures with some of the shoes and stuff that I wear them with.